So we have a request from, I hoping I pronounce this correctly, Yesra, as requested the Hufflepuff crest, um, which I realize I've only done the Gryffindor. I should do all of them. So we're gonna start with the Hufflepuff. And fun fact about this. So we all know that Hufflepuff's house is definitely underrated. And I have to agree, even though that almost my entire family is Hufflepuff, um, I am not, I am Ravenclaw. Um, and we all know their traits. They're being loyal, hardworking, incredibly kind, and sticks to their friends. So that's pretty much my fa my family. So what you're gonna wanna do is for sure, for sure, you guys want a ruler, I'm not kidding. So go find yourself a ruler, go turn it off, come back and come back with a ruler. This is gonna help your life tremendously, okay? So we're gonna get started. So right down smack in the middle of your, uh, I don't even know where that is. Okay, just do it down the whole mid middle of the page, draw a line, okay? So then at the top, leave a little space for this part. You're gonna draw a line across. Doesn't matter how far because we're gonna be changing it up. So you're actually gonna go, you're gonna measure out from here. This is two inches. So we're gonna go one, two inches and make a line and then go down a little bit. One, two, make a line, go down a little bit more. One, two, make a line. You're gonna do this on the same, on the opposite side. You're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna go all the way down. Okay. Then we are going to draw a, make sure all those lines connect. Okay. We will, a lot of erasing is gonna happen, but this is just the, how I got the, the basic look of this. Okay, so now you are gonna go, so this right here is two and a half. So you're gonna go two and a half inches and we're gonna, I think that's about right here, the line there. Same thing over here, two and a half inches. Then here down is gonna be a little bit different. This one is almost three and a half inches. So let's draw this line across. Okay. Now we're gonna bring this down to, um, uh, it's about a little over three, a little over three inches, so like a three and a quarter inch here. Okay, just so we know, because we want to go below it a little bit because we're going to connect this. So from up here, you can make this straight if you want to use your ruler at, at the end. So I'm just going to go from that little corner. Don't go all the way. So I'm going to go mm, partial, way up. Not all the way, because now we need to curve this part in. Because you're going to make this curved. Okay, there you go. All right, so. On the inside of here is going to be the badger. So what I did is I did a rough sketch. I almost did like an S. So it's, it looks kind of like an S. And this is his long mouth. And then it's going to come around. I know this looks, looks almost like, kind of like a chest piece of a horse. But we're gonna make this look like the badger. So now we can erase the center part. We don't need this in there, so we can draw in our badger. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the badger, um, he's got, so his arm is gonna come down right about here. Well, I think it actually comes in a little bit more. So we're gonna make this come down. Right where this comes in, you can start burring it in. This is gonna be his arm. And this is the one that's sticking up. So this is coming out. And you just can sketch this because we're going to be putting hair and stuff in there. I'm going to erase right here so it looks like it's connected. We will definitely add to this. And then for his leg, it's going to be coming in like this. And this is his back. I mean his front leg there. And he's got this cute little tail right off of there. Okay, so now let's add details to our badger. So he's got his little back of his ear there. And when it comes down, 
little nose here and make it come in. So he's got his other ear right in front and then bring this down like this. This is gonna go up and over. And then we're gonna put the eye right in here. Little pupil in there. Mm. And inside his ear, so we're gonna make this ear come down a little more. Inside his ear, we're gonna make a black part inside the ear. If I'm going too fast for you, then just pause it and catch up and then try again. So now we're gonna put his hair, it's going all the way down. So I'm making it scruffy, so it's gonna come down. Okay. So this will be sharpied in. So we will end up sharpening all of this in. This is so you can see. Don't you don't you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you. This is kind of where it's going to be black. And then now you can add some scruffies to this. And it doesn't matter um, because we're going to be sharpening it in. So you're going to see all that. And now let's put some scruffies out here. We'll put some hair. Something like this. So now, you know, I'm going to put this at an angle. I think it needs to be angled a little bit more. It was looking too much like a, a bear paw. So now we're going to put the fingers in there. So we have one paw, two paw, three paw. And then we're going to put this where the black mark goes. So you're just going to kind of wave it in there, put a scalloped edge, and it's going to bring it back. So this will be all sharpied in. Sharp, sharp, sharp. And then we're gonna bring this up. I'm gonna do its claws, like its furry little claws. So um, the mascot is a badger and badgers are look cute and meek, but if you provoke them, they will fight. So that's almost like an actual real Hufflepuff wizard and witch because um, they are the sweet ones, the kind ones, but they will defend when it comes down to it. So don't, don't mess with them. Okay, so now let's do this one. Some little hair in there. This is his little paw. Bring it down. And then we're gonna make this part dark. So this is gonna be where we sharpie. Okay, so that part is done. And now let's finish up this claw because it needs, this leg needs a little more love loves. All right, so this will be all sharpied in. That looks better. Okay, I think we're good on the badger. And so then when you do color this, this is of course gonna be yellow, yellow. And then I did him gray and I did both of these uh, black, but a little lighter, so. All right, so how I made this Hufflepuff is you're gonna come here in the center and you're just gonna make like a bowl underneath. Wow, it's hard to do. I usually, when I do this, I like to turn my page. So it's okay to turn your page if you wanna get a more exact line here. Okay, and then this is where a ruler comes in again. If you look right here, this is one inch. So you're gonna come here and you're just gonna do one inch, just kind of make little marks just so you know how far to go. You can do the same thing on this side. One inch, one inch. Okay, so now you're gonna combine this. So if you want, turn your page like I do, and then now you can connect the lines. It just makes life so much easier. All right, so what you're gonna do now is we're gonna make the end marks here. So it's just kind of like, bloop. So we're gonna erase in here. Now for the writing, we wanna make this consistent. So I want you to make it, so this is gonna be erased, but at least we know where the writing's gonna go. Just make a little parallel. Something around there. Okay, so. This part, we're gonna make it look like it's a flying, like this is, it's just the, the ribbon. I actually, I love making ribbons, they're super fun. So you can do it like this. 
make this connect here and then connect here and then you will sharpie all of this in and then um, this is going to be just yellow. I didn't make this yellow. Yellow and black here. Oh, well. Anyways, I was going to do right here. Do we? That was a mistake. Okay. So, what are we going to do next? Oh, I guess we can write Hufflepuff or we'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's do this part. So, up here, we've got the, the head piece. So, it's going to go past that center line up and then now you want to make a parallel see how this is like parallel lines and then now we want to bring this up and this is going to be the center we'll erase that we don't need that in there and in here he has like a little mark here doo, doo, doo. looks like a like a very sad looking V and this is gonna just make it come up like this just so we know where it is we're gonna to add to it okay so we're gonna make this part the center part. See how it just connects right there? So everything's gonna come off of it. So we have here, it's going to be like a, a V. So you're gonna do this side. And then do another piece here. This is gonna be where the eye, the eye part is. And then we're gonna make this poof out just a little bit. Poof, poof. And make this poofy out, poof. Bring this down. Okay, that is far too many lines. So we're gonna erase some of these lines here. Cause that's just, it's making my brain hurt. Okay, so now on top of here, it's almost like this feathery piece here. It's red and it's only red in here, just like a pop of red. So make like a look, looks like a, a, a loaf of like a French bread or something. And then now we're going to do the lines in here. So to make them kind of poofy on the top, poofy on the bottom. Okay. And on top of this is the, he has like a little badger right on top. So we're gonna make this like a rock that it's sitting on. And then now we're gonna put the badger in there. So he's got his long snout and it kind of comes up. This is his back, come in. And that's like the badger on top, okay? And then when you do end up sharpening it, so this is the, I just put in some little black lines. Boop. It was definitely darker there. Okay. And oh, I forgot this little piece back here. It's like a rectangle, and then inside there, this is gonna be colored in Sharpie. Oh, you know what? Do I want this to go? Yeah, this is all gonna be Sharpie in right here. Sharpie this in, Sharpie this in. Mm, we're gonna make this line go up here, so Sharpie that in. I'm gonna connect this. Ab you loso. All right, fantastic. Let's do the Hufflepuff down here. So right in the middle is the E. So we're gonna start with a thick line. You know what? I'm just gonna do it with Sharpie. I'm just gonna jump in there. Do I want it now? Let's do it with pencil first. It's always good to do it with pencil, just in case. And on that line, we're gonna make the top of the E and the bottom of the E. Now, if you look, it goes over. So it's gonna go over just a little bit. And then right in the middle, make it not as long as these. This is going to be where the center is, and then these pieces come out. Okay, so this is the E. Now we will do the P. We're just going to make it a little extra thick. And it's thicker right in this part. And it's going to come over a little bit, and then you want to do the bottom part. Okay, now you want to do the U. So you're just going to do the shape of where a U is, and then this that part is going to be thicker. Just one side thicker than the other. And then put the top part, and then the top part. Now we want two more Fs. Okay, we'll go over a little bit. Let's do one more F. Over. What else do I know? 
Ooh, hippogriffs have a great ghost. They do. Every house has a ghost. They've got a great one. Do you guys know what ghost they have? Their ghost, I'll give you a hint, is always happy. That's your hint there. Okay, now we're going to do an L here. They've got fat fryer. <laughs> You're like, what is a fryer? No, not they're not cooking, not a barbecue, making french fries fryer. This is a fryer is like a, a monk. It's like a, a religious person. He's got the fat fryer. He's always happy. Okay, so we're going to do an F here. Another F here. I'm just putting it in there. There's going to be a U and an H. It looks like I kind of... a uh, was over on this side a little too much. So I think I actually see it's a good way I can erase. I made the L too far over because now all these are too far over. So we're gonna bring the L over a little bit. That's, that is a reason why we draw lightly, which I did not. So now it doesn't look good. Oops, that's okay. So now we want to do an F. So we're gonna bring the F over here. I'm just getting, best thing to do is kind of sketch it in the first just so you know what it's gonna look like. Okay, that's a little better. Hmm. Could be more squished together, but it is what it is. So here's the F. And when you Sharpie, you can make it look good and clean it up. Oh, this has a back end to it. Okay, and they have a U. And the H, which both sides are thick with their toppers line across. Okay, I honestly would think the hardest part on all of this logo is going to be all of that curvy curve. Yeah, that was pretty challenging. So we can erase right here because we don't need the ends anymore because we already know where that part is. But the sour part's going to be a little more challenging. Okay, so we'll start with the basics. We're going to come up here and we're just going to go whoop. Don't go all the way. And then we're going to do it again. And this one, we're going to make it go all the way around and stop. Let's do the same thing on this side. We're going to come around. Oh, you know what? I wanted to come here and then make this go around this one. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna put piece here. And then this one's gonna be a real big one coming from here. It's almost touching the crest part, but we're not actually, to. oops. See, I got a little too close to it. It's like when you ride a bike, you say, don't go in the ditch, don't go in the ditch, don't go in the ditch. And what happens? You think about it too much that you go into the ditch. So I was like, don't go near that, and I did. So I'm just gonna make this go up, around, and then we're gonna follow this. So it's gonna go up, around, and then curve that around. Perfect. Excellent. Now we've got this one that's coming off here. So you're just gonna do a line and then you come here and curve that around. Okay. All right, let's do the next curve. So it's gonna come down. This is gonna go, woohoo. And then we're gonna take this piece to it and then touch it over here and then bring it in. Okay. And then we have one more curly Q right inside here. So we're just gonna go like this. Yep, that was fun. Woohoo. Okay, let's do this side. Same thing, do not touch this. We wanna get close. We're getting close, close, close. Don't touch it. Eee! Well, that was close. That just barely streaked it. Now we're gonna put the extra piece to it. And then curve this around. All right, and this is gonna come up. We're gonna get a piece to it. And this actually doesn't go all the way. We're just gonna stop right there, okay? So let's get the other piece. We're doing this one now. It's gonna go chick, 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 chick. So let me try to do this. We're gonna go follow right here, and then we are gonna make this come around. 
it's looking pretty good. I'm trying to try it here. Okay, let's give them a few more swooshes in there. So we're gonna do another one. It's almost gonna touch this and then swoosh it around. And then we're going to make this connect right here. Whew, that was tough. Okay, let's do the swirl over here. So coming off here, we're gonna do a swirl and stop. And then we can actually bring it around so it's gonna look like a circle. And then come to here and stop. So now we're gonna make this one. It's gonna come down so it looks like a leaf. Don't go all the way, stop. And then bring this down and then it's gonna come around. Whoosh. And then come back in. I know this part is challenging. Tell me about it. Okay, we're gonna go down. I was excited to do this until I was getting into it and I'm all, whoo, this is tough. And now we're gonna do this part right here so it looks like a leaf. Then stop. And then now, right here in the center, we're gonna make this giant, it almost looks like a slug. Slug, and then we're gonna make this piece that's gonna connect it all right here. Boop. Okay. And there's another piece coming off the slug right here. Now, as, as up here, we wanna get close, but not completely close. So we're gonna come down. It's gonna get close here, but it's not gonna touch. It's gonna come around. I could've made that look a little smoother here. So you wanna get it close, but not touching. Think about that. Then you wanna parallel it. And it's gonna come over here and touch. Great job. Ooh, we're almost worked that done with one side. Fantastic. So this part look like this, and then swoosh it around. Perfect. And we'll do another one coming here. Swoosh it around. And then this one is touching right here, and then it's gonna make like this leaf. Whew. Okay, let's do the other side. That was challenging. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Whoosh. Now we want to parallel, connect it, and then there's an extra piece right here. We do uh, another one right here. Boop. And another one. We're just gonna connect this. We're just gonna make it parallel. But parallel this to the big thing right there. All right, this is going to be, oh, what do we have? Oh, that one's that one. Okay, we're gonna come down here. It's almost like I'm making a heart. I'm bringing it up and bring it down, okay? Another swoosh, swoosh. Come into a circle and then you want to come back. It's gonna have like a leaf right here. Come back in. All right, so we have a curly Q right here. Ooh, how do they do that? No, that's not how we do it. Okay. We come like in like this. And this part's gonna come up. It's gonna be like a leaf. Okay. Last part, you get close, but don't touch. So it's gonna get really close. Turns it into a curly. And then it has a curly coming off of it. And I didn't make it connect, but I'm going to make it connect because I think it looks better connected okay all right I think you can color this one so just what I used is I sharpied everything then I went around it with uh, a big sharpie like actually I went around the whole thing with my ultra fine sharpie and then I filled it in with the fine sharpie and went around the outside I did the letters with the ultra sharpie which I realized as I'm looking at these letters make sure that it's the same distance on all of these because it looks like I kind of came in a little too low there. So you're gonna have to like fix that up, but that's the great thing about erasers. And you can come in, fix it all up and make it look good. Okay, and then what I used was the golden yellow. I colored all the spots golden yellow. Then, so I'm just gonna give you an example. So I'm gonna color this in golden yellow. 
So the whole thing golden yellow. Then you're gonna take your tan and then come in where it comes together and then bring it out. It's gonna make it look more like goldeny. Okay, so all the spots. So let's say this is all yellow, which is easy cheesy lemon squeezy. What else do I know? Oh, did you know each house has a different gem? And I found out that the gem for Hufflepuff is a diamond. Ooh, they got a good one. And Hufflepuff has the fewest dark wizards in history. Mmm, liking me the Hufflepuffs a little more every time. Just because they're just so nice and good and loyal and hardworking that they don't have time for that dark arts schmuggity lugs. So you see how I just did that? I just kind of made it dark here and you can just add some dark pieces wherever you want. And this is really gonna make it look warm. So after you Sharpie it, it's really gonna bring it to life. And even down here, after I've Sharpied it, so let's say I'm coloring all of this in. So you can color it all in after you Sharpied. Then I'm gonna go along here. Just a little bit right here. And I'm gonna do harder along this side. And as I come in, I'm gonna get lighter and lighter. And it's gonna look cool like that. So you can do the same thing on both sides. Anyways. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out.